Lawmakers passing much-needed tax reform this week, but one senator's motivation for voting yes is under fire. Listen. Senator Corker announced his decision to support the final bill, and he is facing backlash over a last-minute change to the legislation being dubbed the Corker Kickback. The 20% deduction for pass-through income, also now being called the Corker Kickback, would cost the government alone just by that change. But the senator said he had nothing to do with the provision. So has Senator Corker been a victim of the fake news trend, just like President Trump that many people thought was just a slogan? Tennessee Senator Bob Corker, Chairman of Foreign Relations, and I would have to say one of the most respected on both sides of the aisle uh, in the Senate chamber. Senator, what is the Corker kickback? Look, this is, uh, this is a, a travesty that something like this would be put forth. Look, the... the, the the, the fact is, this was a provision that came from the House of Representatives. Brian, I've had zero impact on a word of the tax policy. I've focused uh, on, on deficits. The reporter that wrote about this knew I was unaware of the provision. I sat down with leadership on Thursday and walked through the differences between the House and Senate bill as it was actually being published, if you will. And this was not a provision that was even brought up. The, the reporter calls. He knows I'm unaware of it. And then all of a sudden turns it around as if this had some impact on a decision that I'd already made. So, so uh, I, I, the president called yesterday. Uh, we had a warm conversation about numbers of issues. Uh, I told him that I'd had a health, healthy respect for the media. I deal with them all the time, and, and you know, to, to attack the media has not been something I've done. But I had a newfound empathy for him <laughs> in watching how a totally debunked story, debunked by everybody involved, Orrin Hatch, Kevin Brady, the guys that actually wrote this bill, knew I had nothing whatsoever to do with it. But then you have this reporter who says this. All of a sudden, people that I respect in the news media, uh, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, people start printing this as if it's true. A social, phenom social media phenomenon generates from this. And I've never, ever in my life used the word fake news until today. I actually understand what it is the president has been dealing with. And roughly, I know you don't like to go verbatim because it's yeah. a confidence between you two, but yeah. roughly, what was his reaction when you told him that? Did he laugh? Did he empathize? Yeah. He, he, he just mentioned that he'd been dealing with this uh, for, for over a year. Um, and uh, look, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I've witnessed it firsthand. Um, it is not good. I know other people have witnessed the same. Uh, look, I, I, as I mentioned to him, just uh, have a newfound empathy for what he and others have been dealing with in this regard. And, and both of you are fighters. You didn't get successful in your business without mixing it up, even though you have different approaches. So your instinct is to fight back. And I watched you That's on right. CNN with Wolf Blitzer, and he asked yeah. the same question nine times about something you <laughs> No, fundamentally didn't happen.